Um, Taksin has uh, made a comment uh, in which he reassures everyone that Pertai uh, will not seek revenge, but instead uh, has promised justice for all. Now, uh, it's not that I disbelieve uh, Taksin. I'm sure he's being sincere. Um, I just find it difficult to understand that because um, justice uh, for me would be uh, the release of uh, all political prisoners, uh, including Dato Pedo and Kenny and all the all those that are in prison uh, as a result of uh, false Les Majesty charges against them. Justice uh, for many people would also mean the abolition of uh, Article 112 of the Criminal Code. That's justice for us, um, but perhaps it's not for other people. Uh, other people like uh, uh, royalists and the army uh, want the opposite of that. For them justice would be uh, another three or four hundred people in prison uh, for allegedly insulting their king. Justice for them would probably be a tougher um, computer crime law um, for many uh, liberal democrats uh, justice for them would be a 25 year sentence instead of a, a 15 year sentence for less majesty so uh, what everyone regards as justice is not always compatible so I don't understand very well how uh, tax in Shinawatra can promise justice for all uh, somebody's going to lose out in the end and I rather suspect from Taksin's previous comments that the people who are going to lose out are the ones who want justice uh, for political prisoners we are the ones who are going to lose out after all Taksin has made it very clear that uh, he condemns all those who criticize the monarchy he has remained silent while many of his supporters, including Andarini Chanchen Zilpakko, uh, remain in prison. Um, that's not justice for us. Uh, we want justice as well. We want justice because um, many of those who are uh, supporting uh, the abolition of uh, Article 112 are taxing supporters. And I ask myself, why should those people continue to support Taksin if Taksin is not going to give them the justice that he is promising others? I just wanted to say that.